Hey, back with another update video of the Mark 1. Um, last week I have fully changed all the uh, bushes in the rear subframe for uh, the polyurethane bushes. Um, I've done some wheel bearings on the front, some ball joints. I have changed the steering column, uh, sorry, not the steering column, the steering rack, because obviously that was seized if you watched the last video. If not, go watch the last video. Um, and then we took it to Martin Richards at Richards Racing. Um, he did a full alignment on it. The car feels absolutely mint. Uh, I know this because I've been to Teesside. Uh, I didn't film like a vlog as such because it was a test day and I was too busy getting the car right to be worrying about whether to do a vlog and stuff. So, but yeah, thanks to my friend, uh, Rich Newton. He took a load of videos for me and my mate, Tom, who came with me. Thanks Tom for coming with me, by the way. Uh, he took some videos. Um, I actually went to see Yogi um, at PH Drift. If you haven't heard of them, go on Instagram or Facebook, it's PH Drift. Um, oh, sorry, Yogi, I can't remember what it is. It's something different on Instagram, but go on Facebook, PH Drift. Uh, really, really good company. Uh, Yogi's wicked. Gave me some advice, um, pointed some things out to me that I didn't know. So definitely some stuff to work on and to look at around too. Um, I, I managed to get a load of seat time just on my own at the track, just to go do a load of testing, which was wicked, and practice the things that Yogi had sort of pointed me pointed out to me. Um, so that was ace. Uh, we had a few small issues. The ball joints that I bought turned out to be a little bit rubbish, and they ended up falling out of the car. Right, let me swap out. This is killing me again. Try and not get my thumb in it. I'm using my phone, by the way, because my GoPro's at home. Anyway. Yeah, so the ball joints fell out. Luckily, there was a guy there um, with a welder in one of the workshops, so he let me weld the ball joints back in again. Not ideal, but it got me through the day. I bought some better ones that we're going to put in this week. Um, the cylinder on my hydro is too big, so it's not working properly. So I've bought a smaller cylinder. That's going to come next week so I can fit that. My rear brakes were seizing up when they were getting hot, so I'm going to send those away next week. It'll only take a couple of days and then get those all refurbished. So that should solve that. Um, I do have a small issue that, excuse me, every now and again, the car won't start. Um, and we put that down to a crank sensor. Fingers crossed it's a crank sensor. Unfortunately, I haven't had a laptop with me to be able to diagnose the problem when it's actually happened. And it only happens every now and again. So like, and it's only ever happened when we've actually been drifting, if you know what I mean. So we need to, well, I'm gonna change the crank sensor. Hopefully that solves it. If not, then I will have a laptop with me at Three Sisters, so I'll be able to plug in and actually find out what it is, and then hopefully it'll be an easy fix, or I can fix it. But yeah, anyway. Other than that, car's mint. <coughs> like, it's really, really good. Like, really, really good. I'm, I'm just so happy, because it drives like my old E36. It's still got all the same lock mods, and, and like Josh King made the, uh, the hubs, and the extended arms, which I've used for like seven years. I've never used anything else. And this drives even better than what my E36 does. Um, like I put some grippy tires on it and it just, it's a rocket ship. Like I can't even, like when I'm managing, like I can't even like feather the throttle. Like otherwise the car just wants to grip up and understeer. So you've got to keep it pinned. And it's just, it's just wicked. Throwing it into a corner thinking I'm going to slide off. I can just bury the throttle and the car just pulls itself out of the corner. Um, like, I'm all new to this, like, lots of grip in a drift car. I've always drifted a stock E36. So, you know, I've always sort of ran 40 PSI in my tyres and uh, just full send, you know. Um, so, like, yeah, it's all a bit new to me and this is wicked. Like, I, I'm loving it. Um, the car handles so good. I was even doing, like, some... Wow, I'm not going to say backwards entries, but they were getting close to backwards entries. I reckon if I had a few more runs at it, I could have got them, could, could have gotten better. Um, I will put some footage in of all these runs after me jabbering on for a minute, but just skip forwards if you get bored. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, I've got a few little jobs to do for in preparation of round two, which is next weekend, the sixth and seventh of May uh, at Three Sisters. Get yourself down there. It's really actually, it's really really good for spectators. And um, the, 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 the tickets are like peanuts, really. Like, Gordon isn't really charging enough, in my opinion. But anyway, yeah, wicked weekend for the cost of it. Like, get yourselves down there and have a look. It's really, really good. Um, what else can I say? Not really much, I guess. Uh, 
I'll stop waffling on and put some footage in now. Um, I've got pretty much tyres ready to go. Uh, I'll probably need a couple more. Um, yeah, do a few bits on the car. Yeah, we're ready to go. And then paint next, yeah, next month. I, ooh, oh yeah, another thing to shout out as well is 6th and 7th, we're next week, we're at uh, Three Sisters doing Drift League, the second round. And then the weekend after that, we're at Castle Coombe for the German show. Um, Castle Coombe is, you know, over 100 mile an hour entries on the skids. Uh, it's uh, all time, like, the track's been a bucket list of mine for years and I've been invited to go. Um, so I'm super excited to go to Castle Coombe as well. So yeah, we've got some good weekends coming up in the next couple of weeks. I will try and get as much footage as I can. I'll try and do like a vlog type thing, but we'll see. I'm not very good at that yet. We'll just keep doing stuff like this maybe for now. But yeah, anyway, here's some footage of me driving like an idiot and yeah, testing the car and trying to throw it as hard as I can and transition as hard as I can and just being an idiot really and just testing the car out. It was sick, loved it. Cheers, Yogi. Nice one, I'll see you. <laughs>
Mountain as I made it in this video. Um, the next couple of runs, I've got Toyo Proxies TR ones on or whatever, but yeah, they're like way grippier than the normal tyres I usually use. Um, I think if some of the onboard footage you've just seen, um, I've used some of the grippier tyres. You can hear me and my mate Tom, excuse, yeah, sorry for the language. But yeah, you can hear me and my mate Tom going like getting excited about it because you like it was a notice. Maybe you probably can't tell over the film, but if you're in the car, you could. It was a noticeable difference in in grip. But yeah, anyway, carry on with the video. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll upload another one after round two. Catch you on the next one.